everybody, welcome back to Wicked Good Show, covering Rick and Morty. I'm Brian, joined by Ben. Ben, how are you doing? Doing good. Uh, after this, we have uh, one episode left before we go on Rick and Morty hiatus. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It, was, uh, it was a quick, quick turnaround for the show. Only six episodes, but uh, we're making the most of it, and I do feel like the show is... Uh, Making the most of it in terms of being the strangest, most fun show on TV. What, what do you say? Yeah, I mean, I uh, definitely didn't come into this episode expecting an episode about uh, slutty dragons. Nope. But that's, that's, that's what we got. I don't know if the words slutty and dragons ever, you know, went next to each other in my mind uh, before this episode. But, you know, that's what's great about... Rick and Morty, it gets, it gets you thinking about uh, stuff. Yeah, and now those two words are uh, are inextricably soul-linked mm-hmm. in your mind forever. <laughs> yep, I definitely i am not going to be able to look at uh, the HBO show House of Dragons uh, the same way now. Um, although I guess the people who make porn parodies are just real thankful that the easy, you know title will actually make sense now yeah i'm uh not gonna be able to watch its predecessor or uh the character uh davos seaworth on uh, its predecessor show uh mm. the same way again probably as well Pro- probably <laughs> not <laughs> uh yeah it's a, it's an interesting uh interesting actor choice for that uh that character but uh mm. it worked <laughs> i i think so so um, I guess <laughs> uh, we can we can kind of cover it uh, a little bit different because this is one of the first episodes where we actually had a a real Rick and Morty adventure where they were together for a good portion of their storyline, and uh, then we got a got a Jerry and a new character storyline on the sideline. Yeah, the the cat didn't have a name, right? It was just a talking just, cat. Uh, yeah, I think it was just the cat. It was just Matthew Roderick as mm-hmm. a cat. Don't ask questions. Don't ask why I can talk. Yeah, just have fun. Yeah, which, uh, oh man, where do you, do you want to start talking about that first or do you want to talk about the dragons first? I, yeah, I don't know where to start. This episode was like, I I had like, I probably laughed the most, like Mm -hmm. had the most laugh out loud moments uh, Mm -hmm. of any episode this season so far with this episode, but this episode is also like really off the fucking wall. Yes, that is a great way to put it. It is just like an episode where they're like, hey, they gave us 70 episodes or whatever, 75 episodes, so fuck it. What yep. are they going to do? Cancel us after four? Probably not. Yeah, I mean, they're getting huge name guest stars every single mm-hmm. episode. They're not, you know, they're not getting canceled, right? <laughs> no. Oh, man. So, yeah, I guess let's let's talk a little bit about the dragons first. All right, that's the main, the, the A-plot storyline yeah. where uh, we start out in the episode. Uh, Morty does a little bit of uh, an errand for Rick, getting mm-hmm. him a cube that he immediately throws away. It's like, oh, it's purple. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we know. Yeah, now we know. Hey, don't be hating on purple cubes to anyone watching the YouTube video. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Rick, would, Rick would not approve of our logo, apparently. Well, I mean, you know... It's uh you know it's just how it is right he's mm-hmm. not he's not he's not hating he was just bored he was right. like oh they're all they're all purple yeah which is fair I guess I mean if you if you had hopes that uh, every possible logo of Wicked Good Show was not purple and then you found out that it was I guess that'd be disappointing yeah I mean it, it would be definitely less exciting right? mm-hmm. I mean maybe now now the, now we know that it's disappointing you should probably uh start changing the color up every time just to keep people <laughs> on their toes hey man i think we've changed the name and logo of this show enough times <laughs> at this point yeah. this is our That's third true. name and logo already yeah i, I know i'm confused <laughs> but yeah so as a reward uh morty wants a dragon yeah uh because rick promised him mm. i guess if you can count the account you know not saying no as a promise Mm. (laughs) right and uh so no matter what 
Morty's gonna get his get his dragon. Yeah, he's uh, you know, it's the perfect gift for uh, any nerd who doesn't want to say that they're Christian. Mm-hmm. Which you know, obviously very funny. Um, so Morty obviously wants the dragon because he wants to do some Dungeons and Dragon stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of good like subtle jabs at like D and D and like kind of nerd culture and like mm. fantasy nerd culture in the in the episode even though dan Harmon is one of the biggest fantasy nerds alive yeah i mean he made two separate dungeons and dragons episodes in the community mm-hmm. not to mention a podcast centering yeah, around dungeons true. and dragons so yeah so it's, it's self-deprecating mm-hmm. so um yeah <laughs> so morty gets soul bonded to this dragon right with his contract yeah, uh, which is apparently, uh, from from what we learned later in the episode, basically like sex slavery, right? Yeah, who knew? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's a relevant topic right now. I, I guess. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I mean, I guess what uh, what are we supposed to take away from this? What's the deeper meaning, Ben? Um. I mean, you can't, you know, love, love is love, right? You have mm. the whole scene where um, uh, Rick and uh, what's, what was the dragon's name? Uh, Barth, Barthmol, something like that. Yeah, I, I can't. I'm bad with names and I'm bad with saying things. <laughs> this is like this is like my worst nightmare. Yeah, we'll just we'll just say the dragon. Yeah, Davos. Um, Sir Davos. And and, uh, and Rick, you know, get fucked up and they like go fly around and like mess around with the zoo animals. Mm-hmm. And they have they have a grand old time together, and they start falling uh, falling into uh, into soul love with each other. I guess. Yeah, even though Rick was uh, pretty against dragons and magic in general, he's a man of science, not a, a man of magic. Yeah. Even though his also, science is essentially magic. That's true. He also, though, is a big fan of future, so <laughs> right. you can't really, uh, you know, you can you take what you can get. <laughs> Um, so yeah, they uh, they go off on their little adventure to the uh, to the tune of Mask Off mm. uh, by uh, hit hip hop recording artist Future, and then uh, they end up soul bonding at the very mm. end of it. Yeah, which is um, oof, that was interesting. Yeah, uh, this is, I I like at least how they started out. Uh, with it being like subtle that the soul bonding was like erotic mm. and then like within you know 30 to 45 seconds mm-hmm. they like started driving home very quickly that like <laughs> no we're just gonna rub it in your face that this is about mm-hmm. dragon sex yes and then we got to the point where it was just like flat out like oh here's a bunch of dragons who are exiled for being fucking kinky weirdos yeah uh which what, what did you think of that story <laughs> Well, you don't want to talk about uh, the dragon getting whipped and called a slutty slut, fucking slut dragon. Slut. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's just I I know a lot of people online thought that the uh, the show kind of ran the joke into the ground, but I don't know. I was laughing for pretty much the entire episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I'm just uh, maybe I'm just have have a juvenile sense of humor, but <laughs> <laughs> that's only. 20 minutes so yeah that's true how far uh, yeah. to the ground can it go the the scene where uh we're after rick and morty and summer uh follow the wizard and the dragon through the portal mm. and they uh they start doing their uh their fighting with the fantasy and summer threatens to to cancel rick on twitter <laughs> right uh we end up to the point where uh rick morty and summer uh, are uh, leave and find this exiled group of dragons. Mm. Uh, so, which which of the four dragons that we saw there was your favorite? Oh, oh God! Uh, I I think Rick's <laughs> reaction to the last dragon was my favorite. Oh, to uh, to Shadow Jacker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just saw the staff. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, he he came out of his uh, his masturbation den after mm. uh, what was it thousands of years or whatever. Yeah, watching everyone else. Oh my god. Well, yeah. So that was fun. Yeah, I mean, you know, 
they all they all do their own thing. They all mm. suck and fuck and eat uh, ass or yep. shit. I don't know. Yeah. Is it with ass? I think it was ass. Yeah. Okay. I said th- I didn't know if they would uh, censor ass because I haven't seen the uncensored version yet. <laughs> but I I think ass makes the most sense because they also talked about uh, shit play. So right. Yeah. And, um. Because Marty says, I, you guys can do whatever you can eat ass, whatever you just need to help with this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my, my personal favorite was uh, Michael, who uh, was like the, the bestiality guy who mm. fucked the, uh, the woolly mammoth. Yeah, so that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, Michael, you're the only one who fucks those things. <laughs> so even for the freaks, there's the freakiest freak. Yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's probably the, the real moral of the story, right? Mm. You can Is only that, go like, so far. <laughs> even even the, like, kinkiest fucks you can find, mm. there there is still, like, one, you know, there's still the one weirdo, even within the, like, group of kinky weirdos. Mm. Oh, no doubt. You bet. Oh, man, I can't even imagine. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the they do uh, combine their weirdness together and, and rescue the dragon. Yeah, and a soul orgy. Yeah. Which is appropriate. Just like a giant dragon. And, uh, yeah, so now all the dragons are free to be uh, kinky freaks. They're free to fuck and to suck mm. and to eat ass. Mm-hmm. And to do their their woolly mammoth fucking and to, to, to you know, suck or whatever. And they get mm. to eat their shit and do the shit play. You know, yeah. all kind of, you know it's, it's freedom. Freedom. Mm-hmm. It's 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 the American dream, really. These dragons, really, the dragons yeah. are living out. Yeah, which you know, good for them. Um, although Morty's dragon, uh, he's still a giant slut at the end really? of the episode. <laughs> All Morty wants to do is just take a shower. Yeah, he's just not okay with anything that just happened. Yeah, including so, getting uh, soul bonded with his uh, grandfather and sister and a bunch of kinky dragons. Yeah, I think that that would probably be a lot for most people. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so uh, Bar Bar from Bar from, Bar from Law, the mm. Bar, the dragon, uh, the ends dragon up, uh, ends up you know going off on his own and sulking on the street, mm. where he uh, he meets the uh, the character from the the B plot, yeah, the Jerry plot, who just wants to party. He's a talking cat. You know, don't don't ask questions. <laughs> you should just have fun. Yeah. So uh, I guess what do what do what do we think of this side story? <laughs> a, a side story for Jerry, like mm-hmm. when he went to Pluto, when we and when he fucked Rick's daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just something that happens. Yeah, it has nothing to do with Rick. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I was um. It's probably like the most uh, like cryptic and like uh, like unresolved uh, some kind of Rick and Morty storyline has ever gotten, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, they didn't even show us what the cat did. Yeah, I mean, you can you can imagine, right? I mean, mm-hmm. maybe maybe you can't imagine. That's kind of why they didn't show it. It's kind of one of those situations mm-hmm. where, like, you know, what he, the cat did or the cat was involved with is like so. Yeah, like unimaginable that like mm. it can't even be put to screen. Yeah, I think it was the writer on Twitter who was like, "Yes, I know what the cat did. No, I'm never gonna tell you." Oh my god. <laughs> uh, do you have any speculations? Oh, I can't even imagine. There's a lot of screaming in there. Yeah, it's something screaming. that even shook Rick. So yeah, it, that says enough. It, it shook Rick to the point where he was like uh, decent to Jerry. Yeah. He spared Jerry of having yeah. to remember. Yeah. First, he he tried to stop Jerry from seeing in what seemed to be a legitimate act of decency. Mm. And then he erased Jerry's memory of it and kept it for himself. Uh, so wonderful. So great. Yeah. <laughs> no, Rick, someone has to remember. Someone will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, so the, the whole thing is just like the cat the cat wants to go to Florida and mm. hang out um, you know whether a lot of people have speculated online that like you know Jerry said that the cat uh, was in the same house where he keeps pictures of his parents mm. and Florida is notorious for having 
uh, not only a bunch of weirdos, which is kind of a central theme of this episode, but mm-hmm. also a bunch of old people. So right. maybe the cat did something with old people. I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to speculate further on this. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's certainly an episode of television. <laughs> and uh, it was... It was uh, this was a bizarre but fun episode. I think that's the best way to put it, really. Yeah, man. I mean, when I heard uh, that Rick and Morty got a long um, renewal with a ton of episodes, it was I was happy because I knew there were moments like this that were going to come. Moments where it was just going to be like, wow, well, that was really fucking weird and random. Because <laughs> this show, I mean, went to, has gone to some places. You know, yeah, a, no, King yeah. Jellybean almost rapes Morty. In one of the episodes, yeah, there are the, Rick and Morty has no line. Mm-hmm. I'll say that. Like they're, they, they've gotten to the point where like they can get away with just like not having a line. Mm. <laughs> and so like the, the idea that the have, tons of episode and job security, like, the, they're gonna they're gonna go there. Yeah, and they can just have episodes where they you know explore random things like this and mm. just have fun with it. And you know, stop stop asking questions and have fun, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the moral of the episode. Yeah, that we should but, just listen to the cat and stop asking questions and just have fun. Yeah, I mean that cat knew, uh, seemed like it in, knew in what it was talking about. It didn't really seem to be uh, <laughs> uh, any kind of uh, potential uh, bad motives or no, uh, really not. you know uh, sketchy character at all. So. Oh man. All right. So, is there anything else you want to touch on in this episode? As you as you said, we had some good guest stars. Yeah, I mean, do you think these uh, these characters are are done for this episode? Do you think they're going to come back? Uh, I know that um, when Jerry called Rick to go on the uh, the second half of the adventure, uh, mm-hmm. when they eventually banish the cat, uh, he says that this is some like uh, season finale shit or something like that. Yeah, um, that was interesting. I think the the will be back in what capacity? I don't know if they'll be back anytime soon. But Rick and Morty likes to have just like this giant cast of characters that they can throw in there. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we did have this like the post credit scene or whatever where mm. the two of them met together and uh, the cat again wanted to go to Florida. So um, yeah, maybe some kind of adventure between the two of them. Maybe mm. they come back. Maybe uh, we get some more hints as to what the cat did or saw, mm. or maybe we just never see them ever again. And this is uh, where we're moving towards the uh, the season four structure of uh, every episode kind of stands on its own. There's mm-hmm. no overarching narrative. Yeah, I, 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 we'll see. And uh, you know what? We'll be here to cover it. Yeah, here to cover it. One more episode before we take a break for uh, like four or five months or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm excited for that because then it'll be like, you know, right before Christmas, it'll be like a Christmas present to us. Yep, Christmas present to us, little, uh, you know, end of the year wrapping up. And we we, we both do have uh, other projects that we, mm. we are uh, planning on doing together, uh, which may or may not be revealed in uh coming I mean, We already talked about uh, the We Hate Reality thing, but, That's but true. We, have a, we have another one. Do you want to announce that? Sure. Uh, so, two or no, yesterday, as of recording, mm-hmm. um, and uh, whether this comes out tonight or tomorrow, I guess uh, the Tuesday on December tenth, uh, it mm-hmm. was revealed on Twitter the the long awaited uh, U.S. version of the reality show The Circle, mm. which originated in the U.K., will be premiering on Netflix for a three week run. Starting on January 1st, which is in three weeks. Mm. And uh, Brian and I are going to cover it in some capacity. (laughs) So you guys thought you were getting rid of us till Rick and Morty came back. But nope. Nope, we're going to be back like a week after. (laughs) Yeah, right after the holidays, we're going to be hitting the ground running. Mm. Uh, My understanding is they're... The way that the British version worked is they uh, had episodes six days a week, so okay. every day except for Saturday, mm-hmm. uh, for like three to three and a half weeks. 
Right. Uh, it was like a 20 ish uh, episode run. Um, That's so and, impressive, but fun as a reality, uh, you know, connoisseur. Yeah, I think this is a good middle ground as well for uh, a platform like Netflix, where mm. usually they drop all the episodes at once. But something like uh, like a competition reality show mm. really gets uh, like a lot of its uh, motive, like uh, its momentum from mm. online discussion oh, yes. and online coverage, mm. uh, which is a lot easier to do when the episodes are coming out one at a time. Mm. So this is kind of like a, uh, a bit of a compromise. Mm. And hey, man, I, I'm excited. Um, the season of Survivor this season has been uh, <laughs> questionable for certain things, as was the season of Big Brother for other things. Um, so I, I'm, I'm excited to try a little bit something new in my reality yeah. TV watching. Yeah, for sure. I'm a big fan. I've I watched both seasons of the UK version of The Circle. Mm. I'm a I'm a huge fan. Uh, and like I'm I'm very much not uh, like a fan in general of kind of the European uh, competition reality mm. show style in general. But The Circle is is very different and uh, is is a really interesting show. So if you're into that kind of thing, be sure to check it out. Yeah, and of course, shout out Brian Wong. Uh, I don't know if you listened to these episodes. You haven't. You haven't told me you did. Uh, but but hey, maybe if you do and you've heard this, uh, you'll you'll let me know. Ben, where can they find you online? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ben Sharon, where uh, I think the last like five or six things on my Twitter feed are just me retweeting things about the circle out right. of excitement. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, the perfect yeah, time sure. to follow you right now, where the circle is yeah. about to come out. Oh, for sure. You know, uh, I'll I'll definitely be tweeting uh, about the the circle as it goes, uh, and mm-hmm. when we do our coverage. Awesome, and uh, you can follow me at the fake Bmar. That's B M A R R on Twitter. You can follow the channel at WG Everything on Instagram at Wiki Get Everything on Twitch at Twitch TV slash Wiki Get Everything. We're going to get back to that a little bit more, um, so stay tuned. Jenny streamed last week, which, uh, you know, went well. Yeah, we did a giveaway of some Nancy Drew codes. Very fun, and, uh, yeah, we got a lot of fun stuff coming up, so subscribe here. Get us over 100 subscribers so we can get that custom URL. Subscribe to the main channel at youtube.com slash everything, and, of course, subscribe in iTunes, rate, review, share, all that good stuff, and we will see you for the season finale of Rick and Morgan. Later.